Hi, this is Worth Godwin, worthgodwin.com, plain English simplicity for a complex modern world. In this video, I want to introduce you to a very cool project and piece of software called OpenBazaar. And that's bazaar, B-A-Z-A-A-R, in the sense of a marketplace. And that's exactly what OpenBazaar is. But the critical difference here is it's a decentralized one. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me explain. Well, if you go back in time far enough, what you find is that people used to engage in commerce in a decentralized way. So if someone had something that you needed, you would go and talk to them directly and make some kind of exchange directly with that person. But as villages grew into towns and towns grew into cities, people had to go to a centralized place to be able to find merchants and the merchants had to sell their wares in a centralized location, which meant that they had to pay rent, just as you would in a modern context, have to pay rent if you had a storefront in a mall. As the internet became popular, the mall got replaced by places like eBay or Amazon Marketplace, and they became the new centralization. And for a long time before that, we've also had payment centralization, starting with checks, moving to credit and bank cards, and PayPal and other payment systems like that, centralized companies that you have to go through if you want to be able to transact. This gave banks and payment companies the centralized control over all transactions and thus the ability to extract fees from all transactions. And just as Bitcoin aims to decentralize payment structures and give the ability for people to transact directly without using a third party, that is exactly what OpenBazaar aims to do with actual marketplaces. And that's the point of OpenBazaar. Here's how it works. You download a free program for your computer and they currently support Windows, Macs, and Linux computers. You install it just as you would install any other program on the computer and open it up creating a profile which is very similar to a social media profile. You can just browse through listings or storefronts select a product that you want to buy, click the buy button and you pay in Bitcoin. And once you're completed, then the order is shipped to you or it's delivered to you electronically. And again, because OpenBazaar is not a centralized service that you have to apply for and go through as a gatekeeper, they do not charge any sort of fee. The people who participate in the network own the network. So it's truly peer to peer decentralized and allows people to engage in commerce directly with each other. Open Bazaar charges nothing. The only time you ever would have a fee is if there's a mutual agreement between the buyer and the seller to use a third party moderator who acts like an arbiter and the funds are held in escrow. Moderators typically charge a small fee for their service, but they get to pick what the fee is and then you get to shop between a variety of them so you can get the lowest fee if you want just to save money or if you want somebody who may be a little more higher quality but charges a little more you can make that choice yourself again it's about freedom in engaging in commerce without restrictions if you'd like to learn more about open bazaar you can do so at their website openbazaar.org that's open b a z a a r.org or you can continue with the lessons that I've recorded where I teach you just about everything about how it works, step by step and in plain English. Once again, this is Worth Godwin of worthgodwin.com, plain English simplicity for a complex modern world. Thanks for watching and remember to go to openbazaar.org to learn more and to download your free copy of the software.